Hey friends, Nibs again. I wanted to get out to the garage and do a little plinking tonight and uh, figured I would bring out one. Uh, I resealed this one uh, late last year, I think it was, and uh, I haven't had it out much since then, but it is a really cool gun. Uh, one of the first resealed jobs I ever did, and uh, well, maybe it was not quite late last year, but uh, <clears throat> This one is a Crossman Model 600, and this is a CO2, 22 caliber CO2 uh, repeater. And uh, the mechanism is very ingenious on this. Um, it has a, a magazine over here on the uh, left-hand side of the gun. And to load it, there's a little spring-loaded, this would be over here if it was empty, but I've already got it filled with pellets. Um, you pull this over, and up to lock it back and then you would fill that with um, up to 10 pellets and then you release that and uh, <clears throat> this little mechanism goes back and forth as you pull the trigger and brings in another pellet into the chamber. Um, I just put a fresh CO2 cartridge in there. I shot like five shots out of it so far. Um, what I found with these uh, 600s is you can see I have uh, wad cutter type pellets in here. The ones I have in here right now are these uh, rifle cutters, and uh, they don't like any pellet that would the nose would nest into the skirt of the uh, the one in front of it. Uh, it'll jam up and not shoot. But these ones it shoots really good. Uh, so we're going to try 10 rounds with that, and then we will. I have these uh, Meister Coogans as well, and we'll try another mag full with that. So um, I've got a couple cans and a shoot and see down range here. We're gonna see what we can do with it. So um, the first round, oh, it was already, it was already cocked. So if if you when you put your new CO2 cartridge in at the first round, you have to pull back this cocking lever to to cock the action, but it's all ready to go. So. Let's see if I can uh, hit a bullseye here before we do anything else. Oh, a little high. There, that's better. Let's hit a can. Oh, yeah, lots of power. Go back to the target. pellet jam here. Oh, yeah. Pellet was pellet was caught on the, it was tilted to the side and not going into the the chamber there so not really a problem of the gun so much probably one bad pellet or something. I think that might be the last one. Nope, that was the last one. All right, so um, let me go ahead and so now again, you little retractable thing here, you pull that back and uh, just for back and set them cans back up. Those were a lot of fun to shoot. Probably should have broke out some of my little steel animals I guess I got but I didn't think of it before I got started so but cans are fun to plink with. So unfortunately <laughs> this gun so I can buy those Crossman hollow points, I can get those for real cheap, uh, but this gun won't shoot them, so I have to use these more expensive pellets. So let me go set the cans back up again, real quick.
Okay, so now we're back. We'll do 10 more shots. Hopefully it'll run these ones without any, any errors. CO2 might be getting low. Yep. Does take a lot of. No, yeah, maybe not. It's shooting high. I just can't. There we go. And I'm out of pellets. So, a couple little goof ups there. Uh, probably just uh, things on the pellets, making them catch front to back. That's what I find with the with the round nose ones too. If they anything that makes them catch, because it's, it's got to feed them straight in. And then this little piece actually has to carry that one over into the chamber. And uh, if if there's anything on the one that's pressing against it, keeping it from going. That's why you get those little, those little snaf snafus there. But overall, pretty fun gun. Um, these really bring some bucks on eBay uh, if you're looking for one. Uh, but uh, they're they're a lot of fun, and uh, and they can. I didn't think I was getting low on CO2. I've only shot 25 shots through it, so. I think I usually get around 40 good shots from what I remember from the last time I had it out. But anyway, so there you go, Crossman. Let me see if we can get the roll stamp there. Crossman 600. Uh, according to Crossman's website, they made these from 1960 to 1970. Um, as far as I know, it's the only uh, repeating semi-automatic CO2 that they made, they've ever, they ever made, um, with a with a magazine like that. Anyway, they do have some rotary ones, um, and I have a I have a couple of those as well. But uh, this one's pretty cool, just the way the mechanism works. Um, I had it apart when I was resealing it, and it really is a pretty ingenious uh, little mechanism there. So, but anyway, there you go. Um, We'll go ahead and wrap this one up, but uh, Crossman Model 600. Uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Um, really appreciate everybody being on the channel. Things are growing really, really great, and I'd like to keep that momentum up. But uh, until next time, have a great day.